Hi, welcome back. Today I am doing a auction jewelry haul. This is what I got at our local auction. Um, I purchased one tray and um, here is, sorry, I got it a little coffee. I have a, a definite coffee addiction, but this is um, an 835 to 900 silver, sterling silver, 14 karat gold pearl necklace costume and remaining. Remaining means that somebody purchased something out of this lot individually, meaning they put an, um, when to pull it out, put a bid on that individually. Um, and this is the remaining part. I paid $115 um, with a 10% buyer's premium, which most auctions do charge you between 10 and up to 25% buyer's premium. Um, so for $126.50. This came with all of this great pieces. I've already um, done the research on it, but just to let you know, um, this local auction of ours puts pictures up on um, Tuesdays, well, the jewelry pictures up on Tuesdays after five o'clock and then um, the next day you can either call in a bid or you can go and bid on it in person. I actually did a phone bid on these. I just left the bid and I got it, as I said, for the $115. So let's jump right in and see what we got and see if we covered what we paid. The first piece I'm going to show you is this sterling silver D. This was made, it's, it's signed on the back and it says, um, let me get out my trusty um, loop. This is a 10 times LED lighted loop. Um, for me, the um, 10 times is about as um, high as I can do because after that, I start um, losing the definition. So that's why I use that. This one also has a light, as you can see which helps, this says 1975 Sterling, Lenore Loshing. She was a um, United States um, silversmith who primarily did um, initial pieces, um, you would go to her and have things made. Um, she was really great. She mainly um, worked from the 60s to 70s. The next piece, so that piece right there should probably be, um, um, probably 25 to $30. The next piece we have is this beautiful Taxco it's signed with the Eagle 3 Mark 925, um, a sterling silver necklace, a beautiful, the necklace is also um, signed with 925, but the pearl is real. It's um, the best way of telling if a pearl um, is real is by the texture and then the luster. Most people say, uh, stick it in your mouth and rub it on your teeth. Um, I don't care to do that. So I generally just can tell by my fingernail um, if it has some grit to it, you don't need to stick it in your mouth. This is the one thing about vintage jewelry is it can get pretty dirty. Um, I always try to, as soon as I get the pieces, um, sanitize them. Um, a little bit at least. I don't like cleaning vintage jewelry because a lot of buyers of vintage jewelry, vintage sterling, want that patina that it gets through the time. So I try not to take too much um, cleaning uh, or patina off because of that. 
Um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but right there is the um, Texco or Mexico Eagle, and um, it says Texco 925. And I can't remember if this piece has a signature. It says 925 Taxco and the Eagle. So no, it is not um, an individually signed piece. So this, um, I list on, or we list, my husband and I are part-time resellers. We list on eBay, Etsy, and Macari. So this piece um, probably will be about $125. The next piece we have is a Wedgwood brooch um, with um, goddess scene. Um, it's in porcelain blue. Um, it's signed and it says Wedgwood made in England. And then it has S67. Um, this is a beautiful piece, um, probably, and it's sterling. Um, probably in the 35 to 39 dollar range. This is gorgeous. These are real um, pearls. They definitely have the grit. They're gray with that um, iridescent color to them. Beautiful. I'm not sure if these are Tahitian, because um, I don't know where they came from really. These are on a 14 karat gold white um, wire chain. It's signed, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get the light just right. It's signed JCM 14K. Um, and this is $115. If you see anything here that you're interested in, just um, email me at mhl22 at icloud.com um, or put a comment below and I'll get back with you and um, give you definitely subscriber prices, much better than eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. Here is a Sun Eagle Coral Glass Cufflinks. These are signed um, um, Sun Eagle. I believe Sun Eagle was an 80s, right here, I'm not sure if it'll come up. Um, an 80s and 90s company. Um, so very nice cufflinks. They do have the toggle um, clips in the back. Very nice piece. The next piece we have is um, more cufflinks. And these are um, signed 925 metal quesado or quesado jml eagle one with an alpaca back um this part sterling and this part has um been coppered on the front colored but these are beautiful um eagle one so that means that these are probably from the 40s or 50s. Once again, they have the toggle, um, but you see the points kind of tells us that they're definitely the older, and the Eagle One tells us that these are also older. They didn't come out um, with changing the Eagles um, through time, so that kind of gives you a timestamp. The next piece we have is absolutely beautiful. Here is a Jerusalem cross pendant. Um, 
it is gorgeous. I'm not really good at this word, but it has the kin kinetic L, kinetical um, work. Um, and that means this, these little pieces here. Um, it has an um, amethyst glass. Um, on the back, it has the uh, sign Jerusalem 900, and it has the four um, beautiful pieces there inscribed. This piece looks like it goes for about $150, but beautiful has a really nice weight to it also. The next piece we have is a little watch, probably from the 50s. Um, it's wound too tight as general with these pieces. Um, it's signed um, Lewis. Um, and there's that. The next piece we have is a Star of David with the cross. Um, it's on a um, snake chain. Oh, actually this is a small book chain. And it's also the um, chain is also signed 925. And it has 925 right here. That is looking really blurry. Sorry about that. Beautiful piece. Um, this piece I would probably um, list in the 69 dollar range. The next piece we have is a gold tone, cute as could be, little elephant with glasses. His little glasses move slightly, not a lot. Um, just a little gold tone, um, probably from the 80s, I'm going to guess, 70s, 80s, but he's adorable. Um, but he is kind of, um, so you see that the glasses move. And he um, is flat on the back, but has his trunk up, which is good luck. But that's a nice little piece. I'd probably put this up for $25. The next piece is a wood carved Jerusalem cross. It is a pendant. Once again, probably from the 70s or 80s. And I'd probably also put this up for around um, $20, $25. The next piece, I'm gonna have a little bit of issue, um, a problem, or rather not issue, problem saying the name. It is signed on the back. It is a beautiful filigree um, leaf brooch. And it is signed on the back, Topazo, Portugal. And um, this is just a stunning piece. Um, the work in this is just exquisite. But I would probably put this up for about um, 30 to $40. The next piece is a all true USA international um, little lapel pen or hat pen. Um, this um, little organization is for the Organization for Business and Professional Women. Probably put that out for about $10. And it is a little um, enameled front. 
but little lapel pen. The next piece we have is this a beautiful 835 sterling marcasite enamel tulip brooch. Um, it is stunning piece. Um, it's signed on the back, um, 800, I mean, yeah, 835 sterling. Um, and then your um, marcasites are right here. It's not missing any. But that, I keep dropping things. But that is a beautiful piece. I would probably list this in the 50 to $60 range. But that is a beautiful. The next piece I have is this small little 835 tulip piece brooch. Um, it's also enamel. I'm going to say that this um, is Norwegian, just but from the quality of the enamel, but also I did see a couple of them from Norway that looked exactly like this doing my research that was from Norway. Um, so this piece um, actually is listed currently online for $100. The next pieces we have are unsigned. Um, this one, um, I think I need to do a little bit more research. This piece is so beautiful and the quality of it is just really nicely weighted. It also, when you turn it around, has, um, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, there's an extra rhinestone on the back. How great is that? Can you see that blue rhinestone? But these are beautiful um, blue rhinestones um, done in silver tone. So that, um, at this point, I would probably put up for about $29. Beautiful. The next piece is um, broken. Um, so it needs a little bit of work, but it is a beautiful floral piece with light enamel, white and yellow flowers. But the broken part is just simply the little um, roller has came out of the um, safety part of the pen. But that is beautiful. So I would probably put this in a craft lot. The next piece is also a beautiful, stunning piece. These are um, faux pearls in an antique gold tone um, brooch. Um, so just beautiful. Also probably around $25. This piece is interesting. I couldn't find anything on this doing our research. My husband also helped me do my research. I call him my research guru because he just can find anything. This piece actually I couldn't find. It's a beautiful heavy done in a sparkle enamel. I believe it's some type of cad, a jaguar, panther, something, but it's um, just a safety pen and the not safety pen, but a um, just a C class but it's not an old C-class, it's one of the newer ones, probably from the 80s or 90s, but couldn't find anything on this piece. So if you know anything, let me know. The last piece is this carved bone, or it could be um, ivory. I kinda think it has the Schrader um, lines. I can't, I don't know if I can, Get, oh, sorry, didn't mean to make it jiggle. I'll try to get it to come in. But I, I, I can't, I believe that's gonna be ivory, so I'm just gonna stick this in my ivory um, box. And, um, you know, you can't sell ivory anymore, thank goodness. Um, but 
we will just put that away for safekeeping. But here's the lot. I'm pretty happy with it. I think we'll definitely um, get our money back with no issues. Once again, if you see anything that you're interested in, um, let me know. Definitely, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Um, I'd like to do more of these. And I'd love for you to tell us what you'd like to see in upcoming videos. Thanks so much for joining us and have a great day.